Hey everyone, it is Dave back with you today with a fresh smartwatch review of the E610 smartwatch. Now I'm going to do a quick unboxing here so you can see what comes out of the box. I ordered this with the optional chest strap um, and there should be a holder to put the body of the watch into. So you can do EKG either by holding it between your two thumbs rather than your wrist and a pinky or a finger and then you can snap this onto the chest belt and wear this around your chest. So these are optional things that I did not get with the original uh, 600 E600 smartwatch. This is the next generation of that watch and that was my most popular smartwatch video by far because it was one of the first reviews of a blood glucose smartwatch uh, on YouTube. So with the watch itself, it comes with a charging cable. Here's the body of the watch. It comes with a silicone wristband and a faux leather wristband, which is nice. And it comes with a number of self-adhesive snaps that you can snap these onto your chest. It describes the PTT belt in the first review I did of the E600. I didn't have anything explaining PTT. And I think it's going to be pulse transit time, and if not, I will clarify that uh, in the rest of this review. But uh, that's what comes out of the box. There's the instruction manual, some wipes to put on the uh, protective uh, face cover, which is here. Uh, ECG, EKG test explanation. So that's what comes out of the box. I'm going to go charge this up, wear it for several days, and come back with my full, fair, and honest review. It looks uh, very similar to the E600, but it has one button on the side here for EKG rather than the whole side being metallic. Um, so let's go find out. So I've been wearing this watch for more than two weeks now. Let's do a little tour. Uh, the display is nice and bright. There are multiple watch faces uh, that you can scroll through by default. Um, and there are more in the app that you can download to the watch. Uh, obviously, the one I like is the one that you saw first. It is that one right there. But we swipe from right to left. You get your steps for the day, the pedometer, your heart rate. It will take uh, continuous measurements de depending on the time interval you assign to it. I think I have mine set up for every 30 minutes. It will do blood pressure. I find this to be pretty credible. Most of my readings are about 120 over 80, which is about what I would expect them to be. This is the PTT or the pulse transit time. This you need to have it hooked to the chest strap and then you would press this button and then wait at least six minutes to take this measurement and it will do your EKG and heart rate and all of that. This works, I've tested that, it works fine. Here's an on-demand EKG or ECG where you would press play here and then hold the metal button on the side and it's going to measure the electrical, electrical pulse going from your right arm through your heart to the left arm. Uh, I find that to be pretty credible as well. Here's the blood glucose measurement. And let's do another comparison test here a day later. Let's get the blood glucose. See what the uh, watch gives and then I will draw some blood on the glucometer right after this within 30 seconds. All right, so that says 6.06, 6.06 times 18, 109. Let's see what we get on the glucometer. 105, so those two aren't too far apart. Again, I'm not going to speak to accuracy of these watches. They are not medical devices, don't trust them, they are for reference only, but those are the two numbers for you to compare. And uh, blood oxygen saturation, this has both the green and the red diodes, and this will do body temp. And what this actually does is measure your skin temperature and then calculate body temperature. I find this to be very accurate. And then it will track your sleep. It will pull in weather from your smartphone if you have it uh, when you have it tethered and turned on. You can get into your workout modes, pedometer, heart rate, sleep, blood pressure. Uh, basically, it gets you to a menu where everything else is there. You can get into settings. You can turn it off. You can look at your notifications, set alarms, stopwatch timer. You can control the music from your phone when connected with Bluetooth. Uh, it's a remote camera trigger if you so choose, and then some settings, uh, brightness. I have this set up maximum brightness right now, 
and uh, you can set the time and date right from the watch choose your dial notifications that all works uh, let's go look at the app the app is the ever familiar H band app that's H band and you can come in and look at your steps for the day your number of hours sleep for the day and then it's got graphs below there that kind of gives you more flavor and you can scroll back through the previous days and weeks uh, that you track sleep fairly accurate I find alright it will look at your heart rate it will give you your highest your lowest your average and again you can scroll back through the days uh, see your minimum your maximum I like this it seems to be pretty good um, EKG ECG these measurements work um, let me see if I can pull one up that I have done from before let's see it's been a while since I've taken one but here's one uh, and this is the PTT it will do your EKG or ECG um, and it will give you your heartbeats and beats per minute your HRV it'll tell you what zone you're in your QT interval if you're in the heart health you understand what all of this is if not I'm not a medical doctor and I don't have time to explain all this but it is here it does a, a, a credible job and it will say there were no anomalies in my EKG all right and then it gives you your PTT that's your pulse transit time and it says two seconds um, that means nothing to me I don't know what it means but you need to have this connected with the chest strap and do this measurement for at least six minutes to get this pulse transit time but it works it's taking the measurement alright here's another EKG I did these back to back so this all works and if we go back to the main screen here you get your blood oxygen saturation levels and um, you know if you have some sort of respiratory event going on and you're not getting enough oxygen into your blood this could be a, a canary in the coal mine to let you know that um, I'm always up at around 97 to 98 percent which is good respiratory rate hypoxia time if you suffer from sleep apnea which I do not cardiac load and this tells you uh, and you know gives you some indications to, whether you're stressed uh, if you need to relax more or what not all right and then you look at your HRV I like this this data looks good it gives you your Lorenz scatter diagram and you can also get into the HRV data and it tells you whether you're in the abnormal mild or normal mode and here again you can scroll back through previous days oh, let me do that here you can go back through previous days and it will pull up all that old data and it does your blood pressure and as I said I think this is pretty credible it does your body temperature I find that to be pretty credible and then I think what everybody is probably interested in in this watch is the blood glucose monitoring I don't trust these measurements I do not believe they're accurate from any of these smart watches that just only use lights and they don't penetrate skin to actually measure blood so don't buy this especially diabetics don't trust your health to these things this technology is not there yet in general it kinda gives me spikes at the same times of the day they change shape a little bit but whether I skip a meal or you know eat it's just a little bit or a lot it doesn't the graph doesn't really seem to change all that much the spikes are always in the same place and it's always about the same magnitude so I don't I just don't trust it because I've skipped meals and um, there's no reason to be seeing some of these spikes as high as they are that match post meal spikes when I didn't need anything so it's just a little weird I don't trust it you can get into your workout mode here was a workout I did it just gives you kill calorie burn the time engaged in that event um, and I didn't play too much with the workout modes and then you can get into settings and change your permissions and whatnot change your units app style so this is all pretty basic let me come back with my bottom line so for about the $35 range this is kind of a neat instrument it's a neat uh, watch but I don't trust it and I have to say there have been a few times where the the display is either stuck on or it has stuck off and it's even though the watch is still operating I can't get the screen to light up no matter how much I tap it or if it's lit up I can't get it to go off and I have to go into the app and reset the watch so for that reason I would not recommend this watch at all because it's got some bugs and quirks in it but in general I think it does a pretty good job but again if you're mostly interested in blood glucose monitoring non-invasive don't trust any of these watches don't trust this watch this number is for reference only 
if you're kind of a hobbyist or like into nutrition and you just generally want to see when blood levels go, I'm sorry, um, blood glucose levels go up after meals, it's kind of a neat toy to watch, but do not trust any sort of health decisions on this watch, especially diabetics. This is not a, a tool for you. None of these non-invasive smart watches are. So there you go. It's the E610. You know what to do. L click that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, tell others about this channel. My channel is mostly about kayaking and supporting my kayaking business. If you were to be so kind as to leave the donation on this channel or uh, go to my main, main website at DaveTheKayaker.com and leave a donation there to support these videos and this channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I buy a lot of these with my own money and I can only do that uh, from people making small donations or the, the small amount of ad revenue I generate from YouTube. It's the only way I can buy more of these because I just in invest that right back into the channel. So check me out at DaveTheKayaker.com. Go check out my smartwatch and fitness tracker playlist on YouTube. And until next time, stay healthy, be fit, stay strong. If you're in the U.S., happy Independence Day tomorrow, and I will talk to you soon. When you want an extraordinary racing kayak made in the finest American tradition, or maybe just own a piece of American kayaking history. You want a West Side Boat Shop Kayak. Now available from DaveTheKayaker.com. West Side Boat Shop Kayaks. The tradition continues.